So today we have a brand new drone that's being released, well, right now, and it is the DRC D65. Now, let me get straight to the point. Is this one of the best low-cost beginner drones out there right now? I think it might be. Now, why do I say this? Well, let's get into it. In a nutshell, this is a 246 gram drone that can take 4K photos and 2.5K 30 video with a two axis mechanical gimbal, plus all the things we expect from a drone like brushless motors, SD card storage, a 26 minute battery life, smart functions like follow, point of interest, waypoints, precision GPS, return to home functionality. You get the point. And did I mention you can get this for a steal of a price with an Alien Drones discount? But of course, all the specs in the world don't mean a darn thing if it flies like crap, it flies off into a tree on the first flight, and the video looks like garbage. So let's get into the air and see how it does. Now this is a Wi-Fi drone, so we're gonna have to connect the drone to the Wi-Fi of the phone. And they spec the FPV signal up to 800 meters and the control distance to 1,000 meters. And we'll see what they really are real world conditions when we fly this round in a bit. And with this level of drone, it's always a good idea to calibrate before each flight, especially if you're flying in a different area than the last time it was calibrated. So let's do that quick as well. So to calibrate, it sticks up and in. And there we go. And it says rotate this. So we're going to go ahead and rotate this up here. And vertical. There we go. And it also has a gyro calibration that we can do. And that's built in as well, which is nice. But it says you only have to do that if you have crash or hard landing. And since we didn't have any of those, we're gonna leave that alone. But it's nice to know that it's there in case we need it. It is bobbing a little bit, which I would expect for a lower cost drone. That's some of the things you trade off for that. But for the price again, uh, let's take it out, see what this video looks like. And of course the camera is in auto mode. So you're gonna see uh, the camera white balance and the intensity, the saturation go up and down as we're flying here. Um, but it's flying pretty stable. It's staying right in the air. So where's this pond that we like? Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit of an orbit with this, a manual orbit, just to see what it looks like here. I have no idea how stable this will be, but uh, let us, this always lets us know when we do this kind of orbit. What the controllability is there laggy in the sticks is it control at all or is it just kind of really clunky so this is a pretty good orbit i've had some more expensive drones that do a lot worse orbit than this uh, with the manual control so controllability uh, seems really good now something also that they have is they do have a zoom but it is my understanding that the zoom only works uh, in the display it does not work when we record so i'll go ahead and try that just to see what it looks like because there's a a lot a pretty heavy zoom on this there we go you can see that it zooms in really far uh, so if you're trying to see something uh boy uh that's a that is an incredible amount of zoom actually now i do notice just sitting here that we are getting pushed around by the wind a little bit so not perfectly stable again something you give up when you have a small drone like this it is susceptible to getting pushed around by the wind here we do have a little bit of horizon tilt and it's adjusting itself here, but again, uh, not too bad for a two-axis gimbal drone. Uh, certainly passable, again, for a, for a lower-end drone. Okay, so let's do just a little bit of a range test here. I mean, we're already out uh, about 900 feet, uh, close to 1,000 feet, and it's got a pretty good FPV. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, again, for this level of drone, uh, it seems to be doing a pretty good job with that. Honestly, uh, I didn't expect we'd even get this far. Uh, so I I'm going to run around here, but... Quite good connection yet uh, at this 1300 feet. So uh, that's completely doable for me. Uh, that doesn't hurt my feelings one bit. So it is telling us that we have a low battery here. So uh, I don't know how much is left, but it won't let us do any of the quick functions. So what I'm gonna do is return to home and see how close to precision in first. And then we'll do a couple more of our quick shots with a, the recharged battery. It's going over above us here. And it's gonna try to land. Let's. Spun around, let's see if we can catch it. So this is a pretty darn good automatic return to home for any drone 
much less one that's uh, low cost as this one is. So it landed on the pad, all four of them on the pad here, pretty darn good. And I will put the battery life that we got up here. And before I forget, if you're enjoying this video or learned something new that you didn't know before, take a moment and click that like button. I really do appreciate it and it helps us small creators out. So let's go ahead and try this follow mode. All right, so we're there. there we are. Let's get us in the center here and do a little walk, see if it can follow us around. And I can see it's trying to follow us here. And this is a GPS follow. Uh, so it's not gonna visually try to keep us in the center. Uh, it does seem to be following us and uh, doing its thing here. But of course that GPS follow is, you know, not as accurate as I always like. I'd like to be a little bit closer, but yeah, it's doing its thing here. It's definitely following us along. There it is, so let's cancel that. And I'll try to do an orbit as well. So for this orbit, I believe you have to go directly above the subject first. And then you pick your radius that you're gonna go out. And we'll do a little bit farther here and see what that does. There we are. It's going nice and slow around us and we're, that's not bad in the center. Doing a pretty nice consistent speed. And again, because we're fighting that wind, it's, it's not too bad. Gotta be careful, uh, there's a few people over here. I don't wanna get over those people, although I do have a flights over people and flights over moving vehicles waiver, which I just got from the FAA, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, and I'm gonna be doing a video on that. So if you wanna see about that, how I got that waiver, what to do, what it does for us, uh, make sure you subscribe because uh, you're gonna to wanna to see that. It's pretty cool. Flights over people, flights over moving vehicles. It doesn't have to be below 250 grams. A pretty exciting development for sure. So, so we just got a low battery and it's uh, doing another automated return to home. So here's our second automated return to home. And you can see that's about uh, three foot off the pad. Again, still pretty decent. Nothing to be ashamed of for sure. And before we head to the studio, I wanted to mention this shirt that I have on as well. This is available on my Spreadshirt shop. You can get those cool FAA shirts that have FAA certified or registered or licensed pilot on the back. And you can even take this logo off if you want and put your own name so they're editable like that. If you wanted to change it and put Bob on there, whatever. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I'll put a link below so you can go check those out. So with that, let's head back to the studio. So welcome back to the studio. It was a windy bugger out there. I did not realize how windy it was until I stepped out of it. Man, might have been a little bit much for this little drone. So let's talk about what comes in the kit here. This is the one battery kit and it comes with the drone, the remote, a really nice custom case, a charging cable, one full set of extra pops, a prop tool, extra screws, an extra remote stick, and the user's manual. Now, price-wise, we did ask for an Alien Drones exclusive discount, and they did come through with a great discount, which is a great value for a beginner drone with all that you get. And of course, I'll put links in the description so you can go check this out and see if the discount is still available. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. If you need a large camera sensor with low light capability, 60 frames per second, super smooth 4K video footage with extended range and remote ID built in for commercial work, for instance, this will not be the perfect fit for you. But if you're a beginner getting into the hobby or someone looking to get another drone, for instance, with a gimbal, fair quality video and the decent fly that it is for the price, I would certainly give this one a look. So those are my honest thoughts, but I want to know what you think. Leave me your comments below. I appreciate it. And before you go, I have another drone right here that I tested. So if you want to see how this one does and if it might be right for you, then go check it out and I'll see you there. Till then, good flying.